down. And I'd like you to give them a big round of applause because they got cheese, they got wine. And I know that, you know, they're really excited to have us come to their salon and meet their team. And I, we have been meeting their team because we've been doing this for a number of years now. And they came to visit us in Santa Monica. We just did a Happy Mondays last night. Um, and two months ago, we were back in California and they came. It's great we get to see all the team, but we also get to meet new hairdressers. And we also get to meet the future of the industry, which is all of our students, you know? And um, you know, this is Gerard. He is a key member and of, of the Erojo team, and one of our visionaries, definitely. One of the best hairdressers in America. <laughs> his wit and his talent, and he also owns a brand called Hairbrained. If you've not signed up to Hairbrained, it's a social network for hairdressers, and it's a way in which one of the tools that I've always supported and used to communicate to hairdressers because we need to communicate together to stay focused. Yeah, it's that connectivity. I just saw, saw Connie and, and what was the other Patty. Connie and Patty had met years ago on Hairbrain. This is the first time they met in person. And I think that's pretty cool. You know, hairdressers supporting each other and growing together and sharing with an AR. Awesome. I trade more. And then I want to introduce you to James, who's my lead colorist. Yeah, We've worked together for the last, uh, what, 15 years? 14, feels like 30. And, um, <laughs> And James is here to share with you some color technique because, you know, we cut and we color. And we have a great relationship with Goldwell, which is our color manufacturer of choice that support us and enable us to um, bring a positive message. And you know what? This industry needs a positive message, okay? But this industry also needs, you know, it needs a shake, a little shake or a big shake. Because uh, I think that a lot of the things that you can experience tonight about what we talk about, we don't have an agenda because there's no agenda. The agenda is one word, it's called success. Okay? <coughs> and you know, the idea is, is that our goal, and my personal goal, is to um, try and raise the level and the standard of what hairdressing is, but also, which is a bigger thing, how it's perceived. How is it perceived? in America and in the world. So, you know, the reality of it is, is, you know, I run my own salon, I work behind the chair, my clients are your clients, and, uh, you know, I live, I, I live by doing what we do. Education's a piece, that's for sure. Education's the backbone of my company, the backbone of my culture. It keeps people positive and it keeps them learning and growing. And, um, and we're here really, and Happy Mondays is really about sharing you know, what we do, and talking candidly about what we do. You know, we're gonna do some techniques, we're gonna show you some hair, and while we talk about hair, we talk about what's important to us. You know, I have a big salon in New York, I have 60 stylists, I have uh, 30 apprentices, I have a cosmetology school, I have an advanced academy, we have a product line, we have 125 salons that carry a Rojo product nationwide. We don't go through distributors, we're building relationships with business owners, that have passion, that have pride in what they do. And, uh, and my goal is not to sell my brand, my goal is to build my brand and try and help elevate what we do. And, uh, and this is just a, like a great introduction for us to meet new people and, uh, and you'll get to know about us. And you know, if you, if you like what you see and it inspires you, then we know that that's fostering good equity. You can have more. You can have more, yeah, well, and we have, you know, we have an advanced academy in New York City. We do advanced classes in Santa Monica. We started to do that. If we don't have too many brochures because they all got taken. Because last night we did a Happy Mondays. We had 75 people there. We also had a class for uh, 18 hairdressers, a three-day cut and color class. And we also um, did a certification class for American Wave, a brand new service that can make you a lot of money. And more importantly, not only can it make you a lot of money, it can keep your clients excited and inspired. And American Wave, we certified 18, 19 hairdressers on Sunday. 
And we basically have taken, and we'll talk about it throughout the evening, we've taken what was once a big part of our industry, which completely died, which is the perm business, completely died, um, and we've reinvented it and brought it back brand new. So the perm, yeah, the perm is dead, <laughs> and American Wave is a new service that you can introduce your clients to, because the beach wave and the soft movement, with the, the pendulum of straight hair, has gone so far to the, to the right that now it's moving the opposite way. You know, when I started hairdressing, I know we've got some students here, when I started hairdressing, if it moved, you permed it. Okay? Even if it didn't move. Even if it didn't move, you permed it. Let's perm her and find out. <laughs> and the reality of it is, is, you know, today's world now, we definitely believe, and here's the gig, it's a hairdresser's trend. Yeah? It's created by a hairdresser. I'm a hairdresser. He's a hairdresser, we're creating it. So even we're, even though we're a manufacturer business, you know, we manufacture our own products. Here's the magical story. Eleven years ago, I had twenty-five thousand dollars and a dream. And a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> more, more valuable than the twenty-five thousand. <laughs> so what happened was my dream was to build a very successful brand. Yeah? 18 years ago, I had $1,500 and a dream. Yeah, $1,500 and a dream when I landed in this country on a one-way ticket working for a company called Bumble and Bumble. Sponsored me, brought me to America. Did you see the suitcase? It's still in the office. It's one of those plastic suitcases, like before they figured out to put wheels on suitcases. <laughs> like it took them 15 years to figure out to put wheels on suitcases. And he's got them, that little like plastic, blue plastic vinyl. Still with me. Awesome. But here's the reality, you know, that's where I kind of came to this country with $1,500 and I said, I want to be successful in America. I want to be successful in hairdressing. I'd already done uh, 12 successful years in England. Uh, you know, by the time I was 21, I was a creative director for Vidal Sassoon. So this is not like an overnight sensation. This is a 30-year career, and I'm halfway through it. I'm planning on another 30 years, okay? Because the good stuff's really starting to get good, okay? That's why I told them we got to get to California, because another 30 years of New York winters. It's <laughs> not going to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> need some sunshine. But, you know, I, this is like living proof that if you have an idea and a concept, you can make shit happen. Okay, because we don't have any investors, I don't have any partners, I don't owe the bank any money, all right? And, uh, and I've got a business now that's worth $10 million, it does $10 million a year, and it's growing. And, and, and guess what? I'm working. I'm working seven days a week, I'm working traveling, I do maybe, I'll probably do close to 200,000 miles in the air this year. I'm in California every month, and I'm up, down, left, and right. I know the airports really, really well. <laughs> yeah? Because the truth of the matter is, when you get success and you kind of fulfill your dream, what happens is you start to say, hey, you know, now I'm getting there, I've got to keep working to sustain it and keep it going. And we're having fun doing it. So that's a little introduction, you know, and um, let's get started, shall we, Gerard? Let's do some hair. And the one thing that we say is if you have questions, ask. If you have thoughts or ideas, ask. We're not, you know, we're not corporate. You've got to remember, you've got on this stage tonight, on this salon, you've got, um, you know, about 70 years of hairdressing experience between James, Gerard, and myself. And we only have one goal, and that is, how can we be more successful every day? You know, because I think that hairdressers... You know, it was in the, in the New York Times, I don't know if you read it, I didn't get to see it, but somebody sent me the clipping, it was like, you know, their 